Hi, this tutorial covers open versus closed questioning. So let's just start with a couple different questions here. So think about the differences in the following two types of questions. So type one, what are your goals for the future? How did you decide on your current profession? Why do you live where you live? Okay, now type two, how many children do you have? Do you like to eat tomatoes? What is your favorite restaurant? So both of those two questions are obviously pretty different. Um, type one are your open questions, sometimes called open-ended questions. Type two are your closed questions. Okay, so again, for type one, they're open because you're gonna give lengthier responses. The predictability is going to be a lot less when you have open questions. Type 2, these are all closed questions. How many children do you have? Well, you just give them the number. You say 1 or 2 or 0. Do you like to eat tomatoes? That's really a yes or no question. What is your favorite restaurant? They're just going to name the restaurant there. So these are all closed questions because they're going to be predictable. So let's, uh, let's take a look at the two definitions now. So an, op an open question is a question that has no definite length in the expected response. Okay, so again, how did you, how did you decide on your current profession? Okay, you're not really going to be able to have a definite length of how you would expect somebody to answer that question. Okay, whereas a closed question is a question that has a definite short response in mind. A yes, and no, a yes or no question is a common closed question. So uh, what is your favorite restaurant? Okay, they're just going to give a definite short answer. They're going to say Applebee's or McDonald's. or They'll just give, give out that, that short answer. When collecting data for analysis, closed questions are often best. Okay, you want to be predictable in your responses. Um, generally, you can get a lot of good information about open questions, but it's going to be harder to summarize that information, um, classify it. Uh, if you're going to do any graphing, it's impossible to graph open answers to open questions. Um, so again, answers, answers to closed questions can be easily classified and summarized, whereas open questions cannot. Okay, one thing though about closed questions is make sure that it applies to those in your sample. Um, don't ask the question, when did you stop smoking, to a group that includes those who have never smoked. Okay, so make sure that this is definitely a closed question. When did you stop smoking? Oh, six months ago, two years ago. Um, but that question doesn't make sense if somebody has never smoked before. So just make sure that that when you're answering a closed question, since you're since you're they're only going to have a certain number of ways of responding, make sure that the question applies to them. So this is uh, been your tutorial on open versus closed questioning. Thanks for watching.